Hey kids, welcome to uh, unit two, lesson one, variables, exercise number four. Well, let's practice declaring initializing uh, some variables. In my console.java, we're going to declare and initialize a variable called my integer to store the value 15. Declare and initialize a variable my double to store the value 4.75. Declare and initialize a variable called my string to reference the string hello world. And then we're going to use system.out.println to print all of these to the console. And it has a little example here what we have to do. This doesn't sound too bad. Let's jump in and get this done. First thing we need to do is declare and initialize a variable called my integer to store the value 15. 15 is a whole number. I'm going to need an int. We're going to call it my integer. And that's going to be equal to 15. Do not forget your semicolon. Next, we want to declare and initialize a variable my double to store 4.75. 4.75, that is a decimal. So we're going to use the double data type. And we're going to declare my double, and that's going to be equal to 4.75. Do not forget your semicolon. Next, we're going to declare a string. And we want it to reference hello world. Notice there are no parentheses. So I think I'm going to declare it just by using the type, which is string. Call it my string. And that's going to be equal to, we need quotes because it needs to be literal, hello world. Still don't forget your semicolon. Next, we're going to print them off. How do we do that? Well, remember back to our print off lesson. We're going to do system.out.print. We want it on a separate line, so we're going to use ln. We want quotes because we want to print off my integer in text format like that. Then we're going to concatenate. That's the plus sign. And then we're going to call that variable. And the first one is my integer. Again, do not forget your semicolon afterwards. Done with one. Let's do two, kids. This time we're going to do... Uh, my double and that's going to concatenate with the variable my double last one we're going to print off our string so again it's going to be my string and then we're going to concatenate and put my string Now, when I hit run, I should get my integer, 15, my double, 4.75, and hello world printed. Let's see if I'm right. It looks like it printed off exactly like I wanted to. Key takeaways from this lesson is how we declare our variables and which data types we use for the variables. Whole numbers are going to be integers or int. Anything with a decimal is going to be double. And then we're going to use string for anything that has characters or words. Again, don't forget your anatomy, how to declare. Well, I think that's all we had to do for this lesson, kids. Hopefully you found this helpful in learning how to declare variables. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.